Hello guys, this is Onyabi Doang and today I'm gonna be showcasing all of the characteristics and abilities of the newest occult in The Sims 4 Werewolves, introduced in The Sims 4 game pack of the same name. I know I'm a bit late to the werewolf stuff but I just recently got some free time to do this video so I hope you'll still bear with me. Anyway, this will be a two-part video and in this first part, I'll be talking about all the unlockable werewolf abilities from their skill tree, while in the upcoming second part, I'm gonna talk about their general characteristics and abilities outside of the skill tree, like the fury system, how werewolf pack works, how to become werewolves, types of aspirations, and some other new werewolf interactions. With that being said, let's take a look at the new unlockable abilities of werewolves. Like vampires, werewolves in this game have its own skill tree and ranking system. There are five werewolf ranks, which are pop, Run, Prime, Veteran, and Apex. You'll be able to unlock more abilities the more you rank up. There are two types of werewolf abilities, which are the selectable abilities and dormant abilities. Selectable abilities can be unlocked if you're in the required werewolf rank and have enough ability points. All abilities cost one point. Dormant abilities don't cost any ability points, but you need to do certain interactions in order to unlock them. To increase your werewolf rank and gain more ability points, you need to keep performing werewolf stuff like howling, transforming, doing special social interactions, performing abilities you've unlocked, and much more. Once you've reached the apex rank, you can still obtain additional points every time you fulfill the meter. You can also use cheats to increase your werewolf ranks. In PC, press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to open the cheat console and type in this whole cheat, add a space, and then the amount of werewolf XP you want. If you type in 3000, you'll immediately reach the highest werewolf rank, which is the apex. If you want to copy this cheat, it'll be in the video description below. Alright, now let's take a look at all these abilities. The personal grooming ability unlocks the ability for werewolves to groom themselves, therefore increasing their hygiene without needing to take a shower or a bath. The territory marking ability will let werewolves pee on the ground anywhere they want. Yep, that's right. Doing this will fill their bladder need and create this territory mark smell that can only be seen by other werewolves. If one is nearby, it'll make them tense. This can also be done on human form which looks, well, jarring. Also, marking territories in human form decreases their hygiene a bit. The scavenger ability unlocks the ability to dig for treasures on the ground. Sometimes you get none, sometimes you'll obtain minerals, fossils, random stuff, world of books, or even these new types of collectibles that can only be found in Moonwood Mill, the new world from this pack. If you scavenge inside a lot, it will cause some dirty mess, but the dirt will disappear after a while. The ferocity ability lets werewolves do ferocious intimidation to other sims. Doing this will make the target be scared and you'll also increase your fun need. It may also fail though. Additionally, there's a chance the sim you've scared will drop their wallet so you'll gain some extra cash. The wolf nap ability unlocks the ability to take a nap on the ground, so basically you can sleep anywhere you want. This can be used to replenish werewolves energy need. The devour anything ability lets you eat literally almost anything. Whether it be toilets, couches, plants, this workout machine, some unwashed laundries, or even chickens. I'm not even kidding. Doing this will replenish your hunger need and destroy the object in the process. The hunter ability unlocks the hunt for food interaction. The werewolf will go out for a while and once they're back, they'll obtain a bunch of raw meat in their inventory. They will also feel energized after hunting. Eating this plate of raw meat will make werewolves happy, but normal sims will get angry after eating it and turn into Garden Ramsey in the process. It's the Will to Resist ability unlocks this new interaction called Try to Regain Control after entering a rampage as a werewolf. This can either succeed or fail. The higher your werewolf rank, the higher the chance of success. If you fail though, you need to wait for a while before trying again. The Enhanced Smell ability allows Werewolf to perform Enhanced Smell interaction and smell nearby Sims scent. They can also click on the ground and do Smell Here interaction. Depending on the smell Sims emotions, the Werewolf can either feel happy, playful, or flirty. Other occults will also give special scent and moodlets, like aliens, mermaids, and spellcaster which makes them dazed, vampires which makes them angry, and other werewolves which makes them happy. If you have this scavenger ability, this ability can help werewolves smell out treasures so they're much easier to be found. The Somber Howl ability lets werewolves do the Somber Howl interaction in order to reduce their fury meter, but this also makes them sad. This interaction has a 12 hour cooldown before you can do it again. The Lunar Blessing ability makes it so that the benefits of the current moon phase werewolves usually get will be extended till the whole day instead of only at night. 
The Night Vision ability lets werewolves explore the secret tunnel in Moonwood Mill much easier so they'll rarely get dead end and unlock shortcuts sooner. If you also have the Hunter ability, they will also hunt in a much shorter time. The Natural Healing ability allows werewolves to heal faster once they're injured, after fighting with other werewolves for example. It can also heal injuries from other causes, like from being crushed by a vending machine or falling after climbing from a cliff from Sims 4 Snowy Escape. The Pack Howl ability unlocks the Pack Howl self-interaction. Doing this will fill up your social needs, so there's no need to talk to others. The Curse Bearer ability allows werewolves to give Curse Bite to human sims. It can be done without consent, causing decreased relationship. So if you want, you can ask them first if they want to become a werewolf. If they accept, doing this won't result in a decreased relationship. After that, the transformation will begin. First, the sim will get this painful bite moodlet for 2 hours and the bitten arm will glow red. Then they'll get this insatiable hunger moodlet for around 5 hours in which their hunger need will drain much quicker. And once this moodlet expires, they will turn into a rampaging werewolf. The Fisher's Howl ability allows werewolves to do the Fisher's Howl interaction that makes other sims run away and get scared. This will also reduce your relationship with the sims nearby. The Hunting Party ability, which requires the Hunter ability to be unlocked first, allows you to invite others, whether it be werewolves or even non-werewolf sims, to hunt together. All the involved sims will then disappear for a short while and once they return, they'll get many more plates of raw meat if compared to hunting alone and maybe some additional goodies. Non-werewolf sims may also get this scared moodlet after joining the hunt. The Lunar Resistance ability protects werewolves from getting an accelerated fury gain while under the full moon. They will still get this angry moodlet though. The Tunneler ability, which requires the Scavenger ability, lets werewolves use the Tunnel Here interaction when clicking on the ground. It's basically a teleportation mechanic for werewolves. You can tunnel anywhere except on roofed areas, so if you want to tunnel to a rooftop for example, it'll still be possible. Like scavenging, if you tunnel while still inside a lot, it'll leave a temporary dirt pile. The Primal Instinct's ability lets werewolves activate their Primal Instinct anytime without any cooldown. Doing this will give them a plus 4 confident moonlit for 37 minutes. The Super Speed ability lets Warlocks activate their Super Speed capability. If activated, whenever they go somewhere, they will run on all fours in an extremely fast pace, somewhat like Vampire Supernatural Speed ability. This can also be done in human form which looks hilarious. The Alpha Wolf ability makes Warlocks gain more progression in Warlock packs so they can become a pack leader much quicker and makes them win most fights. Because of that, they can also have higher success chance of defeating Greg, the ferocious outcast werewolf in Moonwood Mill. The Immortal Wolf ability, which requires the natural healing ability, makes werewolves immortal so they will no longer age, thus preventing death by old age, and they can't even die from unnatural deaths like hunger, fire, drowning, etc. The Lunar Howl ability unlocks the Lunar Howl interaction that can be done once per night. Doing this resets their current temperament. Be warned though, because doing this will immediately maximize their fury meter and trigger a rampage. Additionally, doing a lunar howl is the only way for them to obtain these other types of temperaments that actually benefits them instead. All of them reduces fury gain, but Mark of the Forest reduces fun need decay, Mark of the Night reduces energy need decay, Mark of the Hunt reduces hunger need decay, and Mark of the Wolf reduces social need decay. If you're lucky, it's possible to get all four of these at once, but it's really rare. The Legacy of the Lycan ability transforms 1 ability points into 250 satisfaction points, so instead of being a better werewolf, you can become a better person instead. You can then spend these points in the reward store to buy special potions or traits. Now we get to the Dormon abilities. There are 6 types of them. The Transformation Mastery ability can be unlocked by not scaring any sims while entering a rampage. Usually, when a fury meter reach max, werewolves will transform into their beast form and enter a rampage temporarily. To unlock the ability, while in this form, I usually just lock them up in a room until the rampage subsides. Once unlocked, they can transform into and out of their beast form at will without needing to enter a rampage. The Werewolf Diplomacy ability can be unlocked if you successfully perform the Ask for Werewolf Sympathy on a non-Werewolf Sim. 
This interaction will always fail if you're not close enough with the sim, so be sure to befriend them first. Once successful, you'll unlock the ability and can perform the Werewolf Diplomacy interaction on non-Werewolf sims. Doing this will give the sim Werewolf Ally trait. Sims with the trait will be more tolerable when a Werewolf do Werewolf stuff near them, so they're easier to befriend. The Werewolf Mentorship ability can be unlocked if you've done practice howling, share werewolf experiences, or pack mentor interactions as a veteran werewolf on a werewolf you're good friends with. With this ability, when you share werewolf experience or do pack mentorship to others, you'll gain boosted relationship to them and they'll gain this confident moodly. While it's active, it makes them gain extra boost on their werewolf rank progression when they do werewolf stuff. The Werewolf Menace ability can be unlocked by performing Ferocious Intimidation or Vicious Howl on a sim who is already scared while they're below maximum fury. With this ability unlocked, when they do those interactions again, they will gain this special playful moodlet. While it's active, their fun need gain will double. The Lunar Epiphany ability can be unlocked by reading werewolf-related literatures for a moderate amount of time. These literatures can be found by scavenging, going to Moonwood Mill's library, exploring the underground tunnel, joining werewolf packs, or you can also buy them yourself from the bookshelf. After unlocking the ability, you can decipher special pages in these books to learn hidden werewolf-related recipes, like this drink that can turn werewolves back to a human for example. You can also decipher the engravings in werewolf artifacts that were previously mentioned to learn more about their lore. This ability also lets you access a certain option while exploring Moonwood Mill's underground tunnel. The Werewolf Empathy ability can be unlocked once you've reached the Della rank in a werewolf pack. This ability lets you pacify other werewolves. Doing this will reduce any fury the werewolf has back to zero. This can also be used on rampaging werewolves to calm them down instantly and stop their rampage. The same werewolf cannot be pacified again for a while. So those are all of the unlockable abilities that you can obtain from the skill tree in The Sims 4 Werewolves. Like I said, I'll discuss more about Werewolves' general abilities and characteristics in the second part of the video. If you know some hidden or less known facts about Werewolves that can be showcased in the second part, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you want more, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much to me. See you later!